surprise, we're back. Oh, okay, that thing's talking. Uh, that thing. Anyway, we are at Universal Orlando Resort. It, it just sprayed water on people. Why don't I just go that way so I'm not so distracted? Um, we are at Universal Orlando Resort, and we are here a few weeks before Halloween Horror Nights just to take a look, do a construction update. We actually got a behind the screens tour to do a lights on tour of a couple of the houses this weekend. So make sure you stick around for those videos at the end of the weekend. Um, we haven't done this before. We've never really come a few weeks early to just get a preview of Halloween Harness. But we're starting our day at Islands of Adventure. And we came in here because of the Little Boo Boo Tea. So this is like their normal, like uh, All Hallows Eve boutique, but now it's themed to Lil Boo in advance of Halloween Horror Nights. And as we walk in, they're already getting set for the tribute store, selling those items that you can get your face on in the tribute store. It looks like it might be some type of uh, supermarket themed tribute store this year, because it looks like they sell oil, cereal, beans, coffee, and uh, it looks like you get a poster with your purchase this year. Okay, let's head on into the Lil Boo Boutique. We actually have that shirt. So it looks like it's like a, it's, I think it says Hudson Pier, world famous Hudson Pier, like a carnival themed pumpkin plinka. So they've got Halloween Horror Nights merch in here, as well as some other spooky themed merch. We've got Chucky. Snitches get stitches. Chucky, I agree. You can buy all your Halloween Horror Nights gear, like this cat hat thing. Some type of little purse fanny pack type thing. A fan, a little, want another purse? Crazy looking wallet. All right. What is this? Oh, it's a skull glass. That's kind of cool. If you're a fan of Lil Boo, there's more Lil Boo than you can shake a stick at, than you can shake a straw at. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool, the Lil Boo sipper. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know, some type of book maybe? Yeah, I think it's like a journal of some kind. They have these cool little mugs. They have this kid shirt, car coasters, so much Lil Boo. Oh, what is this? Lil Boo glasses? I don't think that's Lil Boo. I think those are just skeletons or uh, pumpkins. Oh, check this out. Halloween Horror Nights lanyard. And I guess, oh, that's just an ornament. But the lanyard is actually pretty fun looking. I don't see the, um, the card holder that you put at the end of it though. Not sure I'm digging the aesthetic of this year. It's merchandise. Um, it's just a little too busy for me. I did like this shirt just because it has that like goo feel to it, to like the, the red parts of it kind of feel like squishy. So I dig that. Little major sweets call out. Um, you've also got some of the house, early house release stuff here, like the quiet place over here, Ghostbusters over there. They've got pumpkins all the way up there. Skull smash. Celebrity viewing on Friday only. We missed it. We're here on Saturday. We missed out on Lil Boo Live at the All Hallows Eve Boutique. Bummer. Oh, that thing moves. That's kind of cool. How do I get this thing to move? Is there a way to... Oh, I think it already moves. It's like bugs. Oh, look. Major Sweet Hat. Some more like random merch, not specifically Halloween Horror Nights. Fun little Halloween book. Rubber Ducky. I'm gonna tell you, if you ever want a Halloween fix all year long, Definitely recommend checking out the All Hallows Eve Boutique. It just makes you feel like Halloween. And it doesn't look like this all year long. It actually, they do change the theme around, but it is still always 
some type of Halloween theme even throughout the year, which is kind of a lot of fun. Look at this lanyard. Oh, it's not a lanyard. It's like, like a beer bottle holder, can holder. All right. All right, so I guess this is, well, this is the card holder that like you can put on your belt, but I'm trying to see, oh, here it is. So this is the case, the lanyard pouch that goes with the lanyard we looked at earlier. In fact, there it is, lanyard pouch. That's a fun shirt. What's in the bags? October forever. I agree because it's like 100 degrees out here right now and I'm sweating even inside in the air conditioning. Whoa, it's Lil Boo. And it's that guy from the Carnival Graveyard. What else do we have in here? Anything you can see? Comment down below. Let us know if you see anything that we're not recognizing. Like, what's that duck from? I could buy this and leave here and go wrestling down in Mexico right now. While we walk around Islands of Adventure, we stopped over here at the King Kong snack stand because I figure in the spirit of Halloween Horror Nights, I should get a pizza skull. All right, so a couple bites into the pizza skull. I do not recommend it. It's actually really not that great. Maybe I just got a bad one. Cheese kind of doesn't taste great. Pepperoni kind of doesn't taste great. Yeah, just not great overall. Oh well. So now we and the rest of the world are waiting out the storm because it's raining its butt off outside right now. You can't really see from here, but actually you can't see anything. It just looks white to you. Just take my word for it, it's raining. Plus we've got some Olympics on. Okay, so we waited out the rain inside of uh, NBC Sports Grill Brew. And now we are heading into Universal Studios, Florida to check out Halloween Horror Nights, current state of scare zone construction, and bring you all along with us. Now, obviously, Olympics still going as of this weekend, but very soon, this will all be adorned with Halloween Horror Nights. And check it out. First things first, they've got the, like, the scaffolding and the walkway up there. You can, probably can't see it because my hand is in the way. But last year, that's where Dr. Oddfellow came out during opening ceremonies, walked up there, did his little speech. So maybe this year we'll see characters up there again. And if you want to see another person say the same thing I'm saying, watch Kyle's video. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Yeah, so you can see there's the staircase that they go up there to get up here and introduce you to Halloween Horror Nights. And uh, I guess the parade's happening today at six o'clock. It is about 4.30 right now. Let's check out some scare zone construction. See what's going on here in the park. So we are going to make a right into Hollywood in Beverly Hills. And uh, just, this is where, this will be Demon Queens, Kyle. Scream Queens. <laughs> the Demon Scream Queens. Um, but. I don't think they have anything going on in this zone right now because of the parade. As we walk by the Five and Dime, they also have the Tribute Store uh, stuff that you can purchase with your face on it. And they have some uh, Halloween, Halloween Horror Nights merchandise in here as well. So they've got the whole setup up here with the Little Boo merchandise. But as you look around, they've got like Frankenstein, Mon Amer uh, Universal Monster stuff over there. They've got Chucky stuff over here. Quiet place over here. Ghostbusters over there. So it's kind of all throughout the store, this uh, Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. Now, one thing I am looking forward to this year is that even though Chucky will not be featured at the event, we will have that cool Chucky popcorn bucket that has cool sayings. And uh, there's a fan, if, should you care for such a thing. 
How much is how, how much is this fan? Seventy three dollars. <laughs> it is not seventy three dollars, um, but I'm looking forward to the Chucky popcorn bucket. They have some cool stuff back here on the back wall. That guy looks familiar. I I don't remember from what though. So leave a comment down below if you remember where that guy came from. Um, and you've got these like faces here. Look at this creepy like smiley gladiator. I have no idea what that is. These skateboards are like pretty awesome. And look at the Christopher Lee. And of course the tribute store, which should actually still be open, I think, when Halloween Horror Night starts. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But um, one of the cool things about the tribute store is that they have like little Easter eggs and hidden stuff on the the board here. And on this board here, you can see Tribute Store's Haunted Estate. Uh, open August 30th, so you can expect the Tribute Store to be open by then. Actually, that's the starting date of Halloween Horror Night, so obviously. Um, but I think that's a preview of the theme of this year's Tribute Store for Halloween Horror Nights. Maybe. We'll see. As we leave Hollywood and pass Mel's Drive-In, which will be Mel's Die-In for Halloween Horror we're going to head into Central Park, which is going to be the swamp-themed scare zone. I think it's Swamp of Terror um, is the name of it. And there's a whole bunch of stuff set up in here based on what I've seen. So let's check it out. Over there, they're going to be, they're setting up like a Halloween Horror Nights bar. Not sure the theme of it yet, but I'm sure we'll find out leading up to the event. There's also a food booth up here <laughs> themed to um, El Mercado de los Monstruos. Let's take a look. So clearly this is going to be one of the food booths for Halloween Horror Nights. El Mercado de los Monstruos. Got the pig heads hanging. Ooh, bacon. No, I'm not going to touch it. And some ribs over there. Pork belly. <laughs> if they serve anything other than pork pork barbecue in this place, it's a loss. It's a miss. So based on what I've seen online, this is the zone that has the most theming already. There's a ton of stuff in here. You can see they've got the boat capsized over here. I'm sure we'll see like some of those guys like wearing this so they can hide amongst the bushes unbeknownst to people there's there's stuff all the way out here it is pretty much lined all the way through the zone there's tons of stuff Maybe if you're lucky, you'll see Kyle in here. But I think, so I'm gonna guess they're gonna have, so they've got like lighting rigs up there. And I'm gonna guess this floor may be lit up like you're like wading through water. Cause you've got this cut in half and I'm gonna assume like maybe you'll have some type of projection here or some lighting maybe to make it appear like you're, like it's halfway in the water. Kind of like this boat, right? You can see the boat that's only half a boat and it's got the mirror. I don't imagine they're gonna have some lighting there, like blue lighting, like you're walking through the waters of the swamp. Wow, there's like a lot in here already. And there's this owl guy. I mean, you have this giant boat, that's crazy. I mean, like a full size boat just right here. Wow, look at that thing. Now this zone is already, hey, it's a turtle. This zone is already kind of tight to walk through and it's not even Halloween Horror Nights level crowds. So I've got to imagine this will be a ton of people. <laughs> they use rocking chairs in the bayou. Haven't you ridden Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> oh, the birdhouse. Now, I will say, this is probably the most 
theming and props I've seen in this scare zone maybe ever. I mean, they always do a lot in here, but not like this level of stuff. And check it out, right over the fence here, they have lights and they've got blue filters on them. So I do think and there's a bunch of them. So I've got to imagine those are just going to project like water effects on the ground here. Like I said, like you're wading through the swamp. Here's another half boat with like a mirror for a water effect. I think this zone, I mean, it is one I was not particularly looking forward to. It feels a little bit off theme for the rest of the event, but I mean, I think they're doing a lot here. Oh, there's an alligator over there. You see him covered by the tarp? Gotta say, there is a lot of trash in this swamp. I mean, I guess because it's a swamp of terror, people don't worry about just dumping plastic bottles and stuff. Feels unsafe. But yeah, there's the, there's the alligator. Oh, look at that. I mean, that is clearly not part of the alligator. I wonder if he's munching on a human being in there. I guess we'll find out soon. Actually, check it out. There's two alligators. This one comes in on this side. Can't see under it, not gonna touch it because I don't want to be that guy, but feels like there's an alligator over there, an alligator over there, and this giant thing in the middle feels like a human. As we pass Simpsons and make our way on this bridge, it looks like some food booths have been constructed up here too. Pretty elaborate food booth going up here. Looks like it may be themed to the Universal Monsters house. You can see like the castle gate up there. No menus up yet, but I'm sure there will be in the coming weeks. And now we're making our way into Diagon Alley where the Death Eaters will be doing their performances during Halloween Horror Nights. They've already got like stuff set up around. Like over here, you can see they've got like a little stage set up for when the Death Eaters come out. We actually saw them last year and it was a pretty cool show. I'll tell you, one of the key things I learned last year at Halloween Horror Nights while waiting for the Death Eaters to come out is that this place right here has really good ice cream. I am a sucker for some soft serve ice cream and it's very tasty there while you're waiting for the Death Eaters to come out. As we leave Diagon Alley, and past King's Cross into the streets of San Francisco. We hit Blumhouse, the Enter the Blumhouse Scare Zone, which we know will feature the return of Megan. It'll also feature characters from Freaky and The Purge and, and other movies. No word on if Bagul from Sinister will be there, but if he's not, missed opportunity. We've got to get Bagul in here. Also, I feel like we need an Abigail Megan dance off. If either they do that, that would be awesome. They have a number of these stages in this zone, so I think it'll be kind of similar to uh, some of the zones they've had in the past that just kind of feature characters up on the stage that you can take pictures with. They'll like reenact scenes from the movies, that kind of thing. But you know, I think they'll have a character on this side, obviously, character on this side. Blumhouse. <laughs> oh, check it out. Over here you have a freaky reference because I think the girl was maybe a mascot in a game and she wore that mask. Um, leave a comment down below. I think that was what that's from. I don't know what this wreath is from though. I, I actually, I think though that might be the wreath you hang on your door if you don't want to participate in the purge. If I remember correctly, they had this whole thing that if you hang a wreath on your door, you're like, hey, we're not purging, leave us alone. I think that's what that is. You can see all sorts of projection equipment up there. I'm sure they'll be projecting movie scenes and stuff on the walls like they have in previous zones. You can see like lighting effects up here. I think this will be a nice elaborate zone with a bunch of cool, memorable characters if you're a Blumhouse fan. And as we leave the zone, you can see they've got another Blumhouse stage, two-sided stage over there, and another wall over here. And I think this wall may actually have the reference to the black phone. If I turn this corner here and there's a phone, there is. There it is. The black phone. I think this may be the zone I'm looking most forward to this year. Maybe second. 
I think I'm looking most forward to Torture Fair, um, which we're about to head into and see what they've got set up there. But I'm a big fan of the Blumhouse movies and I'm looking forward to seeing what characters they have in here. Look at this beautiful sign. So exciting. So most importantly, behind that Blumhouse stage is the, uh, where is it? There it is. The temporary Shea Alcatraz. And I got my first Shark Attack drink. It's got like blue curacao, Sprite, uh, rum maybe, pineapple juice. And then they put a splash of grenadine with like a little guy with like a shark on his hand. I mean, let me try it before I say if it's any good. Ooh, it's coconutty. It's actually really good. I like that. It's up my alley. Nice coconutty drink. As we walk by Fast and Furious Supercharged, you can see Mayor Sweets Candy Factory going up behind it. So this is where Mayor, Major, Mayor, Major, Major Sweets? I think it's Major Sweets. Candy Factory will be. Enter over there. I think exit over here. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out. But regardless, Major Sweets back here. And now we make our way into the streets of New York where there will be a torture fair. A renaissance fair with torture all over. Um, I think this will be the scare zone themed to Sinister, who is one of the, the twins, maybe the icons of this year's event. They'll have Surreal and Sinister. Surreal apparently is the, uh, the theme of the Demon Queen zone. And Sinister uh, is the, uh, the main architect of the torture fair. Ye old torture goods is all covered up, but I'm sure there's something nice and gory behind it. Update on the shark attack. It's sweet. It's good. I feel like uh, I'm going to struggle towards the end there because it's just a little, maybe a little too sweet, but uh, it's good. It's worth the show. Just to, just to see the show. Look at all this. Ye old torture fair. Oh, and look. I think that might be sinister and surreal behind there, or maybe just sinister. That is awesome. Love this, the Iron Maiden. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm sure that's a body. One of the coolest things is that, you know, you've got this here, right? It's got a lock on it. I'm sure there's gonna be something going on here. But there's a grate here, which means it's gonna get juicy, I think. I don't know if that's just, maybe that's just um, for when it rains so that it goes down in the grate, but I'm hopeful that there will be some splashing, maybe some um, body parts or something that get squished and uh, run out here. We'll see. Probably not. It's probably just for rain. But regardless, pretty cool. Halloween Horror Night Tribute Store, we will see you very soon. And right across from the stage, well, not directly across, but like in the New York area is Sahara Traders. And in Sahara Traders, they actually have like a little setup like that has a bunch of teasers and Easter eggs for this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. Let's check it out. I mean, first of all, it's just a cool store with all the like mummy type stuff in here. Mystic Madam. Mm. Very cool. But over here is where they actually have the setup. So you can see the uh, World of the Ancient Gardens Museum of Antiquities. It's kind of based on a bat creature. Wonders of the Ancient Garden. As I said. Something of souls. Jar of souls? Ceramic. Okay. Oh, there's stuff on the floor. Some more posters. Artifacts may be dangerous or cursed. Use caution. Fathom Court. That's a reference to a Depths of Fear a few years back. Wonders of the Ancient Garden. Oh, look over here. Central Park continues to be overrun by weeds and other non-native plant life. Interesting. Would you look at that? Museum of Antiquities from Cary, Ohio. You've got all this stuff here with like little call-outs to what may be coming to the house. Wonders of the Ancient Garden. 
sparking controversy, an unnatural artifact with a mysterious origin. Carl Denims, there's a cool reference in the movie. Now, I don't know how much of this is literally reference to the mummy, or if it even is references for Halloween Horror Nights. The Cary, Ohio box certainly seems to indicate that. And this map here, or excuse me, this article here that says, Beware the Bat. I mean, we know there's a very popular bat creature that pops up at Halloween Horror Nights. Maybe this is a reference to that bat creature, it being part of the uh, Deadly Museum house. Hard to say. Those kids are sitting on the steps that they filmed the uh, Ghostbusters commercial for Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, and look, there's a dog in that window from Secret Life of Pets. Huh, I've never seen that before. I don't know if that's new. It's new to me. But over here, we have some more food boots. Yes! We have Ivan's NYC Deli and Grocery because Ivan Reitman, maybe? This is probably Ghostbusters-themed food because clearly you have the Frozen Empire one over here. Oh, yeah, 1984. That makes sense. These are very cool. Uh, I don't know. I wonder what type of New York City type food they'll have in there. And maybe some type of frozen treats here. And we have some more food booths coming. It's like the uh, Halloween Horror Nights Food and Wine Festival. Let's see what these are. No, oh, we've got the Twisted Tater booth. Twisted Tater Tots. It's the Tots. It's crossed out. Looks kind of Chucky-ish to me. And I think Chucky may have had Twisted Taters in the past. I don't know. Regardless, pretty cool. And next to it, you have the Twilight Tavern. Admittedly, I'm not sure what this is themed to. It's not the movie Twilight. It's not Team Edward. Kyle, what is Twilight Tavern themed to? Uh, the vampires and werewolves. The vampires and werewolves. Right here. Edward. Edward. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't think it is. <laughs> Optimus Prime says only 19 days till Halloween Horror Nights. Flash. And yes, I'm fully aware that's a different Flash Gordon movie than the one that the poster's for, but they don't have a poster of that Flash Gordon movie. Ocean Attack update. It is getting really hard to finish this thing. It's so sweet. And over here, right in front of Rip Ride Rocket, we have the Insidious food booth. I mean, what do you think they serve at an Insidious food booth? Maybe spicy food of some kind? I don't remember any type of food really being a theme in that movie. Oh, on the side it says face your demons. So I'm gonna guess it is spicy food. Maybe some type of hot Cheetos type dish like they've had in previous years. All right, peeps, that does it for us from here at Universal Studios with our Halloween Horror Nights construction update. Today is August 10th and it's just going to kick into overdrive over the next few weeks. So if you wanna see more and you wanna see our coverage of opening weekend, make sure to give us um, a thumbs up on this video. It lets us know you like seeing this type of content. And also hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you know when we release more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.